John asked me to, a, a number of weeks ago to say a few words uh, tonight and I spoke to uh, Sammy Douglas at the time and uh, the two of us were just talking about our own lives and uh, how we have been impacted on uh, by mental health and the effect that it's, that it's had on our families. And when he asked uh, when I say a few words, uh, I jumped at the opportunity uh, because I know John's story and uh, it's an amazing, an amazing journey uh, in life. Uh, it's had its very difficult times, but I also know in good times and, and, uh, and that, that we've shared, it, shared together. And I suppose uh, uh, along that journey, uh, certainly from, from uh, my own perspective, you know, I, I know how difficult it is uh, when, when there's a suicide in my family. I, lo I lost a young niece to suicide uh, a, no a number of years ago. And I know the difficulties that can uh, build up within uh, people. And, and to be honest, I lost a brother a number of, uh, through the same thing a number of years uh, after it. And uh, after a while, because every, you were getting phoned, you were asked to speak at meetings, you were asked to speak at things. And I got to a stage where I just couldn't speak about it any longer. And, uh, and probably on the, the, the issue of mental health and suicide, this is probably the first time that, that, that I've spoken about it. Uh, over, over this past uh, number of years. I try to help groups as much as possible. But when you listen to John's story, there's a story in there uh, that, and a journey in there that most of us have travelled. And uh, many of us waking up in the morning, sometimes you don't want to get out of bed, sometimes you don't want to leave us. Uh, your friends and family uh, that, that come to you and uh, the difficulties that they're facing in life and the pressures of life uh, is amazing. And then you start to look at it, what, is, what is out there uh, to, to help people. And I even talking to John over this past a number of months uh, that John, through learning about FASA, learning about PIPs, learning about the other groups, has now stepped into that mantle of being uh, an, uh, given an ear, a helping hand, a shoulder to lean on, and pointing people in the right direction. That, to be honest, I uh, have to tell you, I never do. New John was as talented as, <laughs> as he was. And uh, when I look uh, about the place and I look at the beautiful expressions uh, that has come through in uh, pictures and uh, pieces of art, you know, he has a talent. And uh, it's probably unfortunate that that talent actually was coming through and he never recognised it all them years ago. But the late at the end of the town uh, brought him into a new, a new period, a new life and a new position in life for himself and I think uh, that, 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 that's, that's important. I think the whole, whole question of mental health, mental health uh, uh, hits everybody. Um, I think that uh, there's a darkness in life for everybody uh, but when you look about you uh, there are friends there that you can turn to, uh, there are places that you can go to and I know Paul and myself have a duty and an obligation uh, to try and ensure uh, that the uh, that resources are made available for it. But one of the things that I've learned quite a number of years ago is so how underfunded uh, the, the, the whole question of mental health uh, was, the whole, how underfunded and shoestring even the operations for people that run suicide awareness uh, groups right across the place. So it's up to Paul, the likes of the Paul and myself uh, to, to, to make sure and argue for the resources that, that that's required uh, because we need to not only invest uh, on uh, the, the society today, but for the young, the young people that are coming up to ensure that uh, uh, the taking their own lives is not an option, uh, to ensure that uh, there's employment, to ensure that there's better education, to ensure that there's a better way forward and a better life. And thanks uh, to John, and I would like uh, even to say that John has found a better life and come out of the darkness that he shared with everybody tonight. So John, thank you very much.